it going? Yep, seven weeks. Welcome to episode three. Today we're going to talk about tackling the new normal and how we can train virtually and getting results from it. We're putting a spotlight on an exercise called the hip bridge. And also, we've got a lot of changes on our YouTube channel. My name is Edsel, I'm a personal trainer, and I'm the founder of Segovia Strength and Conditioning. Our podcast, Locked In, it's all about how people can stay the course of whatever they're passionate about. What are their strategies, habits, that perhaps you can learn from? What keeps them at the top of their game? I myself have been locked into fitness for a number of years now. I started out as a fitness buff, which has turned into a career that has been super good to me. And fitness has evolved so much and I started lifting weights. And over the years, I've evolved as a trainer and as a person, we are a fitness company based in Metro Manila with clients ranging from those who want to lose weight, get stronger, or those coming from injury. Our mission is to educate people about movement and how it can lead to longevity and quality of life. So what's been going on? There's been a worldwide spike of fitness equipment. Because gym has been identified as a hotbed for the coronavirus, they were one of the first establishments to get closed down. This has prompted the public to scramble for fitness equipment. It's been crazy. It's been so because people need to stay healthy while they're indoors, right? Besides, the coronavirus attacks people with weak immune systems. So how do you keep up? By eating well and exercising. So how is everyone dealing with this new normal? I've been seeing people online doing all sorts of stuff. People have been trying to be creative just to be able to move and exercise. And it's been really amazing how they've been creative and having the tools to use to train. I've seen people use water jugs to train, um, luggages, backpacks, water bottles, anything they could think of. The most creative I've seen so far is somebody doing squats with a microwave. Creative, insane, risky, but you know what? The end justifies the means. And speaking of creativity, how about we dial this down a bit? Let's review the basics. For an exercise spotlight today, we're gonna have the hip bridge. So what is a hip bridge? Hip bridge, loop bridge, pillar bridge, they come in different names, but it's just one thing. It's you getting on the ground and driving your hips upwards. It's easy, get on the ground, flat on your back, drive your hips upwards, and that will force you to work your glutes your bum, butt muscles. Here's an example. It looks easy, right? It is, but usually just for the first try. When you're doing this with a couple of other exercises, it gets very difficult. But you know what? Hip bridges are very safe, they're simple, and they're so easy to set up. A word of precaution though, there's such a thing as orthostatic hypertension. So if you're coming off the ground and you're standing up, your blood pressure might spike. Just be careful if you have this condition. So if you're gonna do a glute bridge and you have a couple more exercises to do, just stay on the ground. By staying on the ground and doing all the exercise on the ground, you keep yourself safe and avoiding the fluctuations of your blood pressure. With loop bridges, it's almost impossible to mess up your form. And it's also the best exercise to train your glutes. In my experience of training the last how many years, I've met so many people with weak glutes. In fact, 9 out of 10 people I train have weak glutes. 
this is one of the first things we do whenever we assess clients. Do you guys know that the biggest muscles in the body are the glutes? And it's so ironic that for the 90% of people we train, it's also the weakest. Having weak glutes contributes to muscular imbalances. You don't want that because it could lead to back pain. If you got back pain, it's going to run up your back and cause shoulder pain. You get a cascade of all these imbalances that can give you headaches all the time. We've upgraded our YouTube channel. Now we have daily mobility featuring our different coaches. We've got a library of more than 100 exercises right now. Maybe you should check it out. Our YouTube channel is Sugovia Strength and Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. We now have one-on-one -on -one virtually, partner training virtually, and groups of three. We also have an open class that we offer Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's been seven weeks into the lockdown. If you haven't invested in training equipment yet, you can get them at chrisports.com. They can deliver your training equipment for a minimal fee within Metro Manila. Don't forget www.chrisports.com. Use code SSC Edsel10 for a 10% discount off your regular purchases. Chris Sports has been providing fitness and sports equipment since 1984. Chris Sports, better equipment, better game. Hey, we'd like to connect with you. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, click subscribe down below. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, it's down there. Again, more to come from the trainers at Segovia Strength and Conditioning. My name is Edsel, and we'll catch you next time. Stay locked in, folks.